What's going on, everybody? James here for AdoptionAgency.com. 21 years selling on eBay. Now, I might be looking the wrong way because I'm holding the phone with my left hand so I can use my right hand. So I keep looking to the side that I normally look at. So sorry if it looks like I'm spacing off or something. Over here, James. Um, just wanted to give you guys an update since I haven't really made a pulling video. Sales have been just killing it, rolling it in. Rolling, 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 rolling. And so I wanted to give you an update on just the situation so you you know what's going on um, to help you out in any way, shape, or form. Um, as I have said in the past videos, it seems like 30% off is that sweet spot. Um, ever since I've done that, my sales have been rolling in and I have not stopped. It was supposed to end on a Sunday. I went ahead and extended it to next Sunday, this coming Sunday. Um, what I'll do on that Sunday night too is probably extended another week. And why I am doing the extensions as opposed to just setting it for 30 days is because it always seems like you get more sales on that last day when the clock's winding down. People might think, oh, the sale's going off. I'm gonna buy this now. And you seem to, and or the algorithm picks it up that way. One of the two. It seems like something goes on on that last day. So I want to always have that last day. So I'm going to keep that fourth last day or that last day four times in a month. So um, I'm selling it anywhere from 55 to 84 items since I've started the 30% off. And also... Um, when I'm not running the, that exact amount or when I was you know, not running a sale at all, I'd always have those eight, nine hour windows overnight with nothing coming through. Knock on anything. I have not had that since I started the 30% off. Now, is this coincidence? I don't know. But I don't think so because I've said it before where 30% seems like that sweet spot that just there's something about it that keeps things rolling and I just got an offer um what that is I don't know and if it's working it's working so you know I just upped my prices a little bit and when I list I know that it's going to go at 30% off so I throw it up a little bit higher than say the lowest one on eBay so I I'm just pricing accordingly when I list and running that 30% off um, and as I did that, I did mark down my percentage promoted. I'm doing 15 to 20 instead of the 25 I was doing. Um, so I'm doing 15 to 20, uh, depending on the items, the media and stuff. I'm running like 15%. The hats and stuff, I'm running at 20. And if you're new to my videos, the reason I can run that high is because I have no money tied up in this my 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 my, 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 my merchandise any longer because. I've been doing this 21 years and I have five storage areas filled with stuff. And uh, I went thrifting yesterday and then I just went to went into one of my storage rooms today and I saw a tote of new toys. I'm like, ooh, I need to get those up that I bought probably, I don't know, 10 years ago uh, at the FYE. So there's some fun co-pops in there, hopefully some collectible ones by now. Uh, and so like, I saw Wonder Woman and just some new toys. So I need to get those up now before Christmas. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm trying to list. I uh, took the, you know, took the vacation, enjoyed the hell out of it, relaxed a little bit mentally um, till the sinuses killed me. You can, I still got a little bit going on, man. The sinuses this year, I've never had a fall where my sinuses have been so bad and so brutal. It's been ridiculous. So I think maybe next year uh, during fall, what I might try to do instead of going to the Smoky Mountains, I might try going to the desert area. Uh, maybe a Utah or Utah. Utah or I don't know. I don't know about Sedona. Maybe Sedona. I love Sedona. Um, I have to look at the weather because I definitely don't want to be cold. But maybe I'll try that to see if that clears up my sinuses a little bit. I know Florida clears up my sinuses greatly. Every time I go to Florida, I'm usually like, whoa, a new person. So, uh, but yeah, I do I do all the stuff, take all the pills. And I do have one of those netty squeeze things 
not the neti pot, but I always call it a neti pot anyway that squeezes and it kind of drowns you. <laughs> You're like, oh, swimming in water. But uh, so slowly getting over there. There's Mr. Vern for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> oh, did you see that yawn? Um, but so uh, a friend of mine called me yesterday and he's like, hey, I got some stuff to sell you. I'll meet you at the bins. I'm like, okay. So of course I stayed at the bins and I'm glad I did. Wow. There was, they didn't, they did not scan the media yesterday. At least the one, there was one bin that was just paying out for me. So, I mean, I, I was going toward the hat. Oh, hold on a minute. I got to forward another thing to, did you get the pin number? Hold on a minute. Let me check my text. All right, tax people are getting into my account, so they're sending the, uh, they have to do the verification code that gets sent to my email and or text. So I just had to send her the PIN code from my business credit card so she can get into that account and pull out all the info. I love not having to worry about taxes, just let them do it. All to do is just make sure I'm in front of the computer and can give them the passcode. But anyway, uh, there was one blue bin that they did not scan the media. Um, if you saw my short, you saw those four video games I bought. Was it four? Yeah, because I've already sold three. Um, I sold the Zelda for $80. I sold the Lynx, or not Lynx, the Luigi's Mansion. These were all GameCube games. Uh, sold that for 45 And then I sold one th this morning. Which one was it? The Star Fox. So, sold the Star Fox for our $28. And then also, I just went through the rest of the media. Got it here on my desk. And I got some over here that I've got drafted and completed by now. I got to get those listed today. But I found another collectible one, Bust a Groove. Uh, people have this listed for like 60 70 80 bucks. So that's going to be another higher dollar one. So... Just the games alone paid for everything I spent yesterday. So I was just, I was in heaven yesterday. I was just, oh. but anyway, uh, yeah. So um, I recommend trying the 30% off thing. Um, if, you're, if your sales are, let's tax her a so the tax, yay. <laughs> she sent the email back, yay, because I gave her the code. Um, yeah, so try it and see if it changes things for you. Let me know. Come back to this video in a few days and comment below and let me know if it really did anything. Because, I mean, it's fourth quarter. Sales are supposed to be picking up anyway. But I made this, this theory long before the fourth quarter. So let me make sure those are not security codes coming through. Good Lord, I just got like three or four sales. Holy crap. Somebody must have bought like several items. Nice. And that's why I said, I mean, and it's rolling in. Gotta love it. And the, the whole thing that I started doing with my media on the shipping seems to be picking up steams too because I'm having more uh, multiple items sell. So that's helping the numbers increase also. Um, if you didn't hear what I was doing. Um, I was charging $3.49 for every piece of media and then $0.50 cents for each additional when you add more on. The only bad thing about that is it was probably one of the cheapest on eBay when it comes to media sellers. I got about 24,000 pieces of media, I think, somewhere around there. And it's just you can't advertise it unless you put it on, you know, in your drafts on each page. But everybody doesn't read the descriptions. So it's very hard to advertise uh, combined shipping on your orders. So what I decided to do is up it uh, 50 cents, or actually, sorry, it was 385. It, was, it used to be 349. Then I upped it 385 a couple few months ago, and uh, so I upped it to 399. So I upped it 15 cents, and then it's 399 unlimited media items. So U.S. media mail. Uh, but then I also, what I did was I went into my store because I had not been utilizing uh, 
my store as best as I should. So I'm gonna pull it up here. Let me flip the camera around. I think my voice is gonna change. All right, so, cause this, this phone's weird. So what I decided to do was make categories for certain things, but then I also went ahead and promoted $3.99 US Media Mail unlimited items. So a big old, I did the black and orange because it was I did it right before Halloween, so I can change the colors and make a new one. Maybe I'll make it red and green or something for Christmas now. But uh, it seems like that's picking up steam. So that's a good thing because media mail shipped to cheap, shipped to cheap, cheap to ship anyway. Uh, you know, it only costs like six bucks for like 30 CDs or six to eight bucks, somewhere in there. So if people are buying more, I'm going to make up that extra, you know, money that I'm losing in multiple orders. So uh, that is a good thing. Uh, trying to think of anything else to update you on. I've been wanting to go live, but uh, one one part of me wants to go live, another part doesn't, and I'm just like pulling back and forth. So I do apologize. Um, I figure since I've been making a few shorts, I might as well make a video, I'll update you guys, and let you know what's going on. So if you want to make any changes, to try things out for yourself. Since it's since I'm having success right now and not having to complain about anything, um, and I have noticed errors on the website uh, today, but yet it. Seems things are still flowing for me. Um, I've noticed, like, when the search, if I go to type the and sign in, it erases what I put up. So, anything I, any, uh, well, I don't know what you would call them, but they're your number pad when you hit shift and you got the and sign, the dollar sign, etc. If you use any of those in the search engine on eBay now, it, de it deletes what you're typing and not deletes it, but changes it to something else. Like something that's in your past uh, search that you looked for. So I don't know what's going on there. That's totally new. Uh, I don't know if that's my keyboard, computer, or if that's on an eBay thing. But it just started doing it today. Um, I have not shut down my computer to see if that does anything or not. So I'm not 100% sure. Um, but, um Yes, and there was other errors. What was it? It was. Uh, I hear people are having errors with dra with drafts disappearing. Uh, that'd be a nightmare, especially not for me. I'm glad it hasn't happened to me. I've got 78 completed right now in drafts, so that are going up later this evening, and I'm still working on more, trying to get this media knocked up, knocked up, knocked out of the way. What the hell's wrong with you, James? Some of the other items I picked up yesterday. Boom. Got a Sonic. Got like a, I guess it's a Stretch Armstrong, but I've never seen this one. But uh, yeah, some toys. Get up before the holiday. Uh, anything else, James? Anything you want to add, Vern? I'll take that as a no. Uh, I got these. That's several of these, like Wrigley Field promo pictures. Those are kind of cool. From 1988, first night game. So, one, two, three, four, five, seven, about seven or eight of those. So, yeah. I think that's it just wanted to kind of share and because and what's sorry about that i had to change my my finger was cramping um let me go into traffic here <laughs> because since i turned down my promotion amount um my impressions went down too but my my number of items sold are going up so all my numbers are going back up. The only one that's dropped is my total impressions where I was doing 2 million to 2.4 million per day impression wise. And like yesterday I only did 1.5 million. 
but I sold 59 items. Uh, 1.5 the day before, sold 55 items. 1.5 the day before, 52 items. 1.7 the day before that, sold 82 items. So 1.6 the day before that at 64 items. So 1.5 at 60 items. And it keeps going like that. So is there something to that 30% off? Like I said, I tried 10, I tried 11, tried 20, tried 22. I even tried 33. And I do not get the results that I get with exactly 30%. And being that it's not the first time I've noticed it, it's not the first time it's happened, Happened. it's got to be something that's beyond a coincidence. So try it out. Let me know. Up your prices 20%. If, you're, if you run 10% off sale, up your prices 20%. And do a 30% off sale. Especially if you don't have much, it only it won't take you long to do that. And you can always knock it back down if it don't work for you. Um, but if you're if you're getting very low to no sales anyway, what do you got to lose? Uh, give it a shot and see what happens. Uh, hopefully it works for you as great as it's been working for me. But uh I think that is all for now. And appreciate everybody and uh, hope that I just had to share some of the info just to so I didn't leaving leaving you guys hanging uh, with something that's working and we're you know and when I say working I started this on I think the 31st and it's so 10 11 days maybe even the day before the 31st so we're going on 10, you know, 11 to 12 days that this has been working. So, I don't know. Could it be the first of the month? Could it be, you know, fourth quarter? I don't know. But like I said, it's not the first time it's happened. So, give it a shot if you got nothing to lose. So, all right. I will see you all in the next video. Later.